evening, Mighty Cardinals. My name is Mr. Renicky. I am the band director at Chippewa Falls High School. Before we get started tonight, it's not a technical issue on your end. No need to adjust your monitor. I just look like this. There's no way to get rid of these bags under the eyes, so very sorry. We'll be cutting in and out, and I'll be showing you some graphics, so that should take care of the, the horror. <laughs> but... Uh, thank you for joining us tonight. We got our second of two live streams this evening. We'll be talking about the paperwork and registration materials that go along with being involved in activities at the high school. So the very first thing we're going to talk about is the registration process. There are two things. The first being sort of high school registration and then the second being the, the things we need to know about you for band. So high school registration is something that I actually don't deal with at all. How you're going to deal with this, the steps for you, is you should have got an email from the activities office. We're going to go to the high school webpage, and we're going to follow the links there to bring us to the activities webpage. Uh, and the activities and athletics webpage then will give us uh, access to this online registration process. Now this online registration process is really, really slick. Uh, it, it streamlines a lot of different things, it gets all this information in one spot, and it actually reduces the amount of paperwork that we use, that we need to collect. We used to collect like seven or eight different sheets, and now we don't have to because it's all online. It's kind of crazy. So you follow that link on the high school webpage, it brings you to a website that looks like this. You're going to follow these links on here. Uh, under quick links, there's a tutorial. Mr. Thompson kind of does a three minute video walking you through how to uh, follow this process, um, but you're gonna follow that link. The one thing to note is for band, we don't need a physical. So there's no need to uh, have a physical. If you're gonna be involved in fall, winter, or spring sports that do require a physical, then you know make sure you take care of that at some point. But band does not require a physical. You can leave that section blank. The second part of what we're gonna be talking about is the paperwork and registration things that we need from you in order to run our band program. And so that is where we're gonna jump over on the high school band website, which is cfhsbands.org. Make sure you get bands plural with an S at the end. cfhsband.org is gonna bring you to the Cedar Falls High School. And while they have a really nice website, it's not gonna be super helpful. So cfhsbands with an S.org. We go under the students tab, to quarter one marching band project, and that brings us to uh, a bunch of different marching band resources. And there's two new things that have been updated today, and you'll see there's a band fee slash permission slip, which is just gonna be a single sheet of paper, which is pretty amazing. And then there's uh, some show graphics, there's the, the full season school year calendar, actually, we talked about that yesterday, and then there's links to the music that you can print at home, and there's links to the music that you can listen to and practice along with, which I'm sure you've all been doing all summer long. We click on that band fee permission slip, and that's gonna bring us uh, to this PDF, which you can print and fill out, or you can wait until the first day of camp, which is obviously Monday, August 5th. We're gonna give everybody a copy of this, so you can take care of it ahead of time and bring it with you, or you can pick one up on Monday when we pass them out, and you can return it at your convenience. We, again, like I mentioned, we used to collect seven or eight different sheets of paper, and it was a nightmare for me. It was really a nightmare for my wife because she helped me to sort them, and we've gotten it boiled down now. Because of that online registration, we've got it boiled down to a single sheet. The, the registration process you went through, uh, through the high school, that activities registration, is where we're going to get all of that medical information in the event that we need to use it for an emergency. So we can actually take that and pull it up on our phone, or not, I can pull it up on my phone. I can also populate uh, a printout and click and boom, there's 200 pieces of medical information that we'll carry with us on our trips. We used to have to have you fill it out there and then you'd fill it out on the permission slip and then you fill it out on our own version of that, which got, got to be crazy. Let's just boil it down into a single document if we can. And we did. So the top of this piece of paper is that band fee. It's $140, and it covers pretty much everything we do. Uh, it helps pay for supplies, pays for music, um, instruments, our housing, transportation, you know, the marching band props, all these different costs that go into the activity. You also have an option there to help us offset the fee of a student or a family that is experiencing maybe some uh, financial need or hardship. 
not being able to pay this $140 fee will never prevent anyone from participating in band at Chippewa Falls High School. We work really hard each year, uh, really on the Chippewa Falls Music Association, the CFMA, that's our music boosters. As that group raises more money for band, choir, and orchestra, we're able to get that fee down. When I started here 10 years ago, it was uh, almost $250, and we've gotten it down to $140, and we're always working to get it to our vision of being zero dollars. So if you'd like to help me move in that direction and get that basically to be zero dollars, please get involved with the Chippewa Falls Music Association, also known as CFMA. You can write a check out. You write that out to CFHS Band. Don't write the check to the boosters. Um, CFMA, don't write the check to CFMA. Write it out to CFHS Band. Uh, and you can turn that in. You can pay cash, however you want to take care of that. Um, the I, I just want to share one other little thing. Probably every year we have about, if you're wondering what that the number is, it's probably in the 85 to 90 percent of families that um, are able to pay that fee uh, at, in, in, of some some form, whether it's the full 140 or it's a, you know a payment plan kind of a thing or just, you know, we say, hey, you know, we can really only afford 100 bucks, and then we, we get some people to help out that remaining 40. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm rambling now. Okay, bottom half of this sheet then, 2019, oh, it says 2010. Should it be 2020. I'll update it. We're not time traveling. <laughs> this is just our travel permission form. Uh, this is the exact same language on every other permission form that you'll sign for activities, probably in the districts, but I know uh, pretty much definitely at the high school. Oh, great, picture of Nolan. Um, coming through the text message there. But the one thing that's different about this is we use this as a permission slip for the entire year for all the different things we have going on. So the like the four trips we take with marching band, rather than having four permission slips, we just do the one. Um, if you're in jazz band and you're going to travel with us to the Head of the Lakes Jazz Festival, boom, you, you're done. That permission slip is taken care of. If it was a trip year, um, that's a little bit different, but otherwise this is one permission slip that's going to cover us for the year. That also then highlights the importance of making sure that your student is communicating with mom and dad like, oh yeah, we have a field trip tomorrow, or like the show tomorrow is in River Falls. Um, just because you're not going to be getting that di like that piece of paper every single time, but I think the trade-off of that communication responsibility is better than having to write out your group policy number for your health insurance like 19 times. So that is it. That's the paperwork that we collect. Um, like I mentioned, it used to be seven or eight forms. If you're a returning member, this is it. It's a single sheet of paper. There's the top and the bottom. You do gotta write your name on there, I think twice, but um, top and bottom of that one-sided piece of paper. And we're gonna pass that out to everybody on Monday. So you can print this out again before Bandcamp on Monday. You can fill it out, send it in with a check and call it good. Or you can take uh, the copy we give you on Monday and then you can return that. You know, by the end of the week would be great. Um, but we understand too with the money, maybe you wanna wait till September, um, some different things like that. That kind of is it. Mm -hmm.